Hello lovely people. This is my second time trying to record this video and probably the last because if it doesn't come out right this time I'm not doing it again. So first of all, sorry if you can hear noise in the back like there's a football game by my house and then Sal's playing the game so it's just probably gonna have some background noise but it's okay. But like I said before I tried to record this video already um but I didn't like it because some of the stuff I showed in the haul was kind of like boring and I wanted to have a spicy haul so I decided to make this like a collective haul of things that I've thrifted like past month weeks then I also wanted to add like some of my best thrifting tips for you guys if you want to start getting into thrifting or if you're already into thrifting and you just want somebody else's perspective. I just put in like tips that help me when I'm thrifting and yeah. I didn't feel like re-recording that part so I'm gonna add it in from the first video when I tried to do it. So here's that. So my first and most important tip would have to be to have patience. When you're thrifting, it takes a lot of patience because it's not just like going to the mall and picking out like exactly what you want or it's not just like online shopping where you see it and you get it. That's not how it is at all with thrifting. When you thrift, you go in and you have no idea what to expect, what you're gonna find. And that's kind of the fun of it too because you don't know what you're gonna get and when you find something really good it makes you like really excited and want to come back and do it again and that's how it got me that's how I got hooked and addicted so first tip is to have patience because you can get frustrated because if it's like your first time thrifting and you don't find anything that could be really discouraging and like make you not want to thrift anymore but it took me a long time to actually like start finding things that I actually like and that I could see myself wearing. And that moves on to my next tip, which is if you're starting out thrifting, like first starting out, I suggest that you shop at like thrifting boutiques, like for example, Freestyle Clothing Exchange, Crossroads Trading Post, um, and there's, there's others, but like little boutiques or vintage shops, like where stuff is already like curated for you to kind of like make it seem like it's a mall type store and you can find things like easier that are, like trendier or something like that so if you're just starting and you don't really know what your style is yet but you know like what type of clothes you like to wear I'd say try boutiques first like boutique thrift stores it's cheaper than the mall but it's also kind of on the pricier side than a regular thrift store like Goodwill so yeah that also kind of ties into my third tip which is to figure out your style if you know like what your style is and what you like to wear it'll be much easier when you go into the thrift store to like find things because you already know like what style you're looking for and you don't have to like be lost or anything like that and one way to do this which really really helped me is to make a Pinterest board a lot of people use Pinterest but I know a lot of people in my life who don't use Pinterest and like struggle with like finding outfits and stuff like that when Pinterest is the key I just go on Pinterest and I will see what I like and people wearing like different kind of clothes that I find interesting and I put it on my board and I accumulate like different images of styles that I like and that's just really where I go from there and it's much easier because you can see an item that somebody's wearing and be like I want that and it might not be just like a specific item it could be just like something that's universal and you can find anywhere like at a thrift store and that leads me to my last tip which is to not go into specifics when you're shopping at the thrift store because that will not work if you're going into the thrift store and saying oh i just need to pick up this one thing you're not gonna find it i promise you you're not you have to come with an open mind and not just have a set thing that you want in mind because 
chances are you're not gonna find it and then you're just gonna get discouraged and that's never fun <laughs> so yeah come with an open mind and that's something that I really had to do is go into the thrift store and look at pieces and be like hmm maybe I can style this differently in different ways maybe I can crop it maybe I can do something to it and you kind of just have to open your mind to like how you could style that piece instead of just saying mm, no that's ugly it's not what i'm looking for and toss it away because then you're not gonna ever find anything at the thrift store so yeah but it could also help if you make a list of like things that you want to find so you're not just thinking of like one thing specifically but you have a whole list of like things that you think you might be able to find at the thrift store, things that you want. So you can like have better chances of finding like three or four things on your list so you're not like discouraged that you didn't find anything, if that makes sense. So yeah, those are all of my tips and let's get on to the haul, I'm excited. <laughs> Okay, so onto the haul. I got a lot of tops, so I think I'm gonna start with bottoms first because I only have like three bottoms to show you guys. So we'll get those out of the way and then we'll move on to tops, accessories, so on, so forth. So the first bottoms are these forest green pants. They're kind of high-waisted and they flare at the bottom and what's really cool and caught my attention about these pants is that at the bottom where the flare is there's a whole pocket. I've never seen that on pants before like putting a pocket at the bottom of the leg and it works so I will most definitely use it. It just gives something like more to the pants and like gives more definition to the flare at the bottom and that's why i like them but the brand is called life energy and intelligence i have never heard of that brand before but this is what the tag looks like it's gonna be backwards but that's what it looks like it's also on the butt part of the pants and yeah next i have this midi skirt i think it's a midi skirt i don't know the difference between midi and maxi skirts but i'm just gonna say this is a midi skirt it's black and it has like these teal flowers on it it's really pretty and it was a little big on me so i had to add like a safety pin but they have slits in both of the sides and it's just very pretty very elegant and very nice and it's really comfortable because the material is like pretty breathable so yeah and then last pair of bottoms that i have are probably my favorite pair of pants right now and they're these true religion flare skinny jeans i find a lot of like true religion at the thrift store and i don't know if it's normal but it baffles me and i get like excited every time i find a pair so when i found these my excitement was through the roof like i have a video of when i tried them on in the fitting room for the first time and i just they're chef's kiss they fit me perfectly and i like the little orange trim that they have along the belt loops and like a little bit on the pockets and they're just so cute and i will be wearing these until they get like holes or something like i'm gonna wear them out moving on to the shirts now because i was shopping for like fall weather um, there's like a lot of long sleeves in here like most of the shirts that I'm gonna show you are long sleeves and they're my favorite type of shirts like long sleeves are so flattering on my body like I don't know what it is but I'll take a long sleeve over anything else any day but this first one that I got is pretty basic it's from forever 21 and it's like the old forever 21 but I got it from the thrift store and it's just this little red shirt with some black tie-dye print type thing and I just picked it up because I felt like it'd be good for like layering and yeah nothing much to say about it just a basic little long sleeve I'm probably gonna get a good amount of wear out of it wearing it like under stuff yeah <laughs> next i was very very happy about this one because i've been looking for old abercrombie and fitch like type shirts and look what i found a nice little abercrombie and fitch number it's this brown like button up long sleeve and it's like a it's like a quarter button up and it's just 
I have no words for it. It's just so good. And I like the way it just looks on my body. And these types of shirts give like, people say it gives like the Bella Swan like type of vibe, which it does. But I feel like it also gives um, Kristen Stewart and that movie is called like, I don't know how to pronounce it, but it starts with a Z. I'll put it on the screen. The movie is called so thorough or something like that it's a really weird movie and kristen stewart's character only has like two outfits in the whole movie but you know i just think it's more accurate and her name is like lisa in the movie and it just gives her in the movie like that's what it gives because i like to wear these types of tops with like frilly tank tops and stuff underneath and that's the vibe that it's giving but yeah i've just been really into that style and i'm probably gonna just try to collect more of these tops so this one will start off the collection the next top some of you may think this top is very ugly and i wouldn't disagree with you i wouldn't but it just caught my attention and i have a thing for these shirts and i don't know why but here here it is it's this little very busy shirt but i don't know why i just like it so much and i'm definitely gonna save it for the springtime because it's really giving spring there's just a whole bunch of pretty like flowers it's like a garden on the shirt and it's just so pretty you can't say it's not pretty like it's pretty, but people might think it's like a grandma shirt, which, what's wrong with that? Nothing. But I like it, it's from the brand Endless Designs, and they make a lot of shirts like this, that and the brand Cactus, and I, I, I like those shirts, so let me live, please. So there's this one, and then I got another one that's kind of like similar to that one, and it's this one this one is a lot better like it's less busy and it's really cute to me this one doesn't have the tag on it but i'm pretty sure this one was probably from the brand cactus because it looks exactly like the shirts that they make but it's so pretty it has rhinestones on it but on to the next shirt i got this shirt and i really love this shirt i've already been wearing it like i wore it in my previous video my vlog so if you haven't watched that go watch it but i wore it in that video when i went to the pumpkin patch and it's just so nice like i like the little detail on like the chest area i have like a lot of quarter length are these quarter length sleeves i don't know like quarter length sleeves they're not like full long sleeves but i like those too they can get annoying sometimes because like why are my wrists cold but you learn to deal with it. This next top is not a long sleeve. It's this tank top and it kind of gives grandma, but at the same time, it kind of gave like forest fairy to me. I don't know why. I just like the little frilly part at the bottom. I might take it in in the back because right now it's like really flowy, but I like the way it looks if I like were to take in the back and like, I like the cinched look and yeah, I just thought it was really pretty. So I had to pick it up and it was only $8, so why not? I got this shirt as well, another non-long sleeve shirt, but I really liked it. It's this shirt that says a little grumpy and it has a grumpy on it and it's very, very cute. I want to like wear this, wear this, but it kind of reminds me of like pajamas, but I kind of want to crop it and I'll probably get more wear out of it if it's cropped because right now it's kind of a lot of like awkward length so i think it needs to be cropped but it's very cute look at him look at him he's so grumpy <laughs> then i got this very very interesting piece not to be on my joe goldberg shit but i was stalking okay let me stop uh <laughs> let me give context i was at the thrift store and this girl had like a big mountain of clothes in her basket and i was like Girl, I know you're not getting all those clothes. So I was kind of just waiting for her to like try everything on and like figure out what she wanted to keep and not want to keep. And I was kind of just watching her to see where she puts the clothes that she didn't want to keep. So I can go through them because 
we had similar styles and I knew she picked some good stuff. So I was like, I wanna go through it. So I was creeping behind racks and stuff, trying to see where she puts her clothes, but I didn't wanna make it obvious. So I was kind of like, kind of like hiding. Why did I just admit that? <laughs> That's real sad. That's also where I got the brown Abercrombie and Fitch shirt. She had it in her car and she didn't get it, so I got it. This is another piece that she put down and it was really, really cool. And it was too like weird and funky for me to just not get it. And I like it a lot. It's this little like t-shirt. It's kind of like a t-shirt dress cause it's long, but I'd wear it with like jeans or something. To me, it's like weird in a good way. Like it's cute, weird. And it's like tie dye on the front and on the back. And then it has this patch, like this patch is cute. This patch, I don't know what that is. Is it a chicken? Is it a chicken? Yeah. Is that a chicken? I think the fuck not. I'm lost. I think it's a bird. It's just this bird. But I liked it a lot and I feel like I can make it work, you know? So yeah, there's that. <laughs> then this next top that I got, I also have a story for it. Um, I was at the thrift store and there was this girl there and she was doing the same thing that the other girl was doing. She was sorting through her stuff and we were talking and she was really nice and she was done like sorting through her stuff and then she uh, came to me and was like, hey, do you want this shirt? And I was like, hell yeah, I want that shirt. And it was this shirt right here, this redemption top. It's by the brand Raw State. I said it wrong. Because I don't know how to read, but we'll let it slide for now. And I really like it because I've seen shirts like this on like Pinterest and I've been really looking for them. Like, I like it a lot. It's giving skater, cyber, Y2K, whatever you want to call it. So shout out to that girl. She was so nice. I loved her. Like she left her stuff in a nice reasonable spot so I can look to see if I wanted anything else. And she thought of me and was just like, I think she'd want this top. And she gave it to me. How nice is that? That's why you talk to people at the thrift store. You make friends. And then they give you cool shirts. But yeah, that's this one. I love it. On to the last one. When I found this shirt, I might have just screamed if I wasn't in the thrift store. I would have screamed if I wasn't, but it's just affliction shirt. Look at it. <laughs> look at it. I want all of you to look at it! <laughs> it's just so pretty. Like, look at all the rhinestones. Like, I don't know if you can see the rhinestones, but there's like rhinestones on everything. And look at the stitching. Like, it folds and then it like shows the rest of the thing, but it's like this really cool stitching and it's on the back as well. I love it so much. I've been wanting an affliction shirt to wear with like a little pleated skirt. When I saw this, I was like, I know, I know exactly what I'm gonna do to style this. Like you're, you're coming on with me. And I'm very excited because I'm gonna take pictures in this soon and be on the lookout for that. Follow me on Instagram if you're not already and be on the lookout for the outfit I make with this shirt. That was the last clothing item. And now we'll move on to accessories. Let's start with my new obsession. Can you guess what it is? Probably not. I'll just tell you, ties. My new obsession is ties. I love me a good tie, let me tell you. So I got like this tie first, this nice basic black tie. And then I went a little crazy and I got a little obsessed with ties because I love the way they look and like how they just complement an outfit. But yeah, I'm a tie gal now and I got this really cool funky one. I love it. And then you saw the black one already. I got this nice little brown one. And then I got this green one that has like this little blue and yellow pattern on it. But yeah, those are my ties. I love them and I can't wait to like style them with things. I'm very excited about that. And then I got these hats. There's three of them that I got. I got two beanies and then this, I don't know what to call it, like Baker Boy hat. But I love this hat. I've been wearing it already. If you follow me on Instagram, then you've seen me wear it already. I love it. It's so cute. Look at the sides. Look at the buckles. Cute. 
Then the next hat is this little blue striped beanie. I've been trying to get into beanies. I've been trying to get into hats in general. Okay, I, I wouldn't wear it with my hair like this. So don't judge right off the bat. It kind of looks funky. Maybe if I fold it. No, but yeah, that's this one. And then I got this last little beanie. It's like a, it's like a bottle cap, but I like this one. This one's cute. This one would be cute for like going to the snow or something. This looks like a snow type of beanie. But yeah, that's this one. Then the last things that I got were two pairs of shoes. The first pair, they're just these little hiking shoes. I needed hiking shoes because I think I'm gonna go hiking with my friend and I just wanna hike more. So I thought I'd get the proper shoes so I can, you know, do that. But yeah, they're just these little hiking shoes brown and teal and black cute and now these shoes i love them so much and i was gonna leave them behind i was gonna leave them at the store because i got them from salvation army and they were 30 dollars. and i usually don't pay that much for their store shoes but i just i just love them so much and it's these little fur snow type boots they're not really snow boots because they would not keep your feet warm in the snow but yeah there's just these little fur boots <laughs> i love them so much i'm so glad i didn't leave them because i would have been regretting every life choice that i've made and i was just been sad so yeah these are so cute i love them so much i can't wait to style them but that was everything that i got so that is the end of this video i hope you guys enjoyed it you can comment down below what piece was your favorite make sure that you like this video and subscribe if you're not already and i will see you in the next one <laughs> bye <laughs>